Hello, my beautiful Leos. Your reading starts now. Sun, moon, rising of Venus. For those of you who would like to win one of the four readings I'm giving away for the month of January, please check the contest rules below. We have the energy for you, Leo, of the Five of Cups. You are unhappy at this time in a relationship. Your energy is the Seven of Cups. You're really thinking about your options. You feel like you're underwater with this relationship. Your partner's energy is one of walking away after feeling defeated. This person is releasing you. You're releasing them. We get this energy of your partner being very much in love with you, Leo. So your mutual energy is that you're keeping very quiet about what you want. Both of you would like to have um, basically a peaceful ending if this relationship is coming to an end. You both feel ambivalent about whether you want to continue. And we have the King of excuse me, King of Cups energy, Scorpio King. You both care about each other very, very deeply. We get a lot of watery energy here. We have Neptune, we have Pisces, we have Scorpio, we have Cancer. So there's a lot of emotion in this relationship. Uh, the Seven of Cups, the Five of Cups, we have so many cups. The outcome, and I'm going to clarify everything for you so we can get a nice full story. Your outcome energy is a Four of Coins holding on to each other, but also being very self-protective. Trying to make things work, wanting to hang on to the love, and yet feeling as though it's time to make a decision. So let's see what we have here for you. Let's clarify the cards and see. This is kind of a, a little confusing at first glance, but the clarifiers will color in between the lines. Okay, so the Five of Cups, why are you so disappointed in this relationship? Wow, Five of Cups is clarified by the Five of Cups. Okay, well, why do you why are you evaluating your choices you're tired of being left out in the cold leo why are you feeling underwater why are you feeling fearful remorse and regret over something that you said or did why did your person walk away and release you even though they loved you dearly or why have they? Why are they in the process of this? They feel as though it's the end of a cycle. Your person feels as though they don't have any choice but to release you. Your person is single. They want to be happy. They want their happily ever after. They don't feel as though that's possible with you. Yep, the tower card has come down. Whatever they thought could happen in the relationship between the two of you, they have determined that it's not possible. The Three of Wands says that they wanted to have a beautiful adventure in love with you, but, you know, they just, it didn't work out, so they're letting it go. The mutual energy, though, shows a lot of love and no clarity whatsoever as to where to go or what to do to make this work. So your mutual energy, let's look at your part of this mutual energy, is a Queen of Wands. Very much, Leo, that's Aries energy. You always want to take action. You want resolution. You want clarity. You love this person, though, as this person loves you. Both of you bring a lot to the relationship. When things are good, they're very good. Leo, here you are in your own reading, the Sun card. You feel as though you both, the hidden energy here uh, with the two of you is that you find each other very sexy, very attractive, Leo. You feel as though the other person, each of you feels as though the other person is the happiest, you know, the best relationship they've ever had or you've ever had. The Two of Pentacles says that the decision, what's being juggled here is a committed relationship. So for many of you, the discussion has become moving forward into commitment. What does that look like? Is it something that you want? 
I would say that you love each other tremendously. Okay, the King of Cups, marriage. You know, that's a mutual energy. So I, I do think that you're married to this person. I do feel that way. For most of you Leos, I feel as though you are either a single person trying to date a married person and or you are a person who's married. Okay. Equal give and take is what's required. The two of you love each other. You both want a legacy relationship. You both want success. The energy between the two of you is really, can you have success? So why is the outcome that you're both holding back? Tell us more about this outcome spirit. Why is the outcome for Leo that you're both holding back? Hanged man. So something has happened in this relationship that just makes you pause. Okay. The queen of pentacles. There's very much a focus on practicality. There's a lot of love here, but there's a really big focus on practicality. And, you know, Leo, for you, I see a lot of dissatisfaction. The lover's card, the outcome is that there's a relationship of commitment. There's two, two coins are being juggled. So it does appear that the relationship could, could fall by the wayside with this energy of the lovers. That is Gemini Virgo energy. Now, I definitely feel as though, Leo, you are, I don't know why I wanna say Virgo, I just did the Virgo reading. Um, Leo, I feel as though you are really over. If you've been married to this person for a long time, it shows that you love them, but you are, you just feel like the relationship has not, it's all about business. It's all about work. You know, what you're looking forward to in the future is this beautiful energy. Both of you want this energy of being lovers. Both of you want success, but it's like you're at a stalemate. You can't get there from here. Both of you want to make a decision and make the relationship better. Oops, there we go, of course. Lots of spillage. And so that has meaning. And we're going to see what the subtext is with all of this. So let's take a look. Both of you want to be happy. Both of you want to have more fun. You do feel as though you're soulmates. I think you've known each other a very long time. The Ace of Coins, both of you want this to work at a practical level. Leo, here you are in your own reading again, but you, Leo, are feeling as though you don't want to go through with this. Your person feels as though they want the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups. Your person wants this. But what I'm also seeing is that there's a situation in which you told your person, Leo, and here you are in the reading again, you told your person that you know, while you love them, I'm getting, these all came out in the reverse. While you love them, you just no longer want to invest in the relationship. Now, I feel as though you told them through your actions. I do not feel as though you've been very verbal about this because the Seven of Cups, you're assessing your options. I do feel that the secret that's tucked in here Leo, is that you may have had an affair or you may have a love interest. I feel as though that's what would have, your partner would have felt as though they had to walk away and release the marriage with you because it would be have been a betrayal that they wouldn't be to, able to handle. So tell us about this. Tell us more about the outcome. Yep, release. Release Scorpio energy, walking away, walking into your happiness. You've, you'll love this person forever because I feel this person was very, you've known them maybe since childhood. You may have married this person very young. Leo, I feel as though, though you love them, you no longer want to be in the relationship and your person can't deal with you deciding to have someone else. You do want you want stability. You want a lot of stability. Yep, here you are. 
the two of wands again being at a crossroads your the crossroads in this outcome says choosing between a marriage and stability versus love and the lover's card something that's very heartfelt though the two of you love each other i feel as though the passion has gone out of the relationship i feel as though the the quote unquote marital bed is cold i feel as though everything is all about money and what are we going to do for the future there's no living in the moment i feel as though the passion the, the, the love is there, but the passion is gone from the relationship. So let's take a look and see what the Moonology deck has for advice for you. I really feel very much that there's still a subtext to the story here, Leo. There's a lot going on here. So we see you're very close to achieving your goals. Okay. What else do we have? Your dream needs a practical plan. So the relationship looks as though the two of you are going to get the judgment of divorce. For some of you, you may already be in this process. So I may be telling you yesterday's news. For others of you, you're trying to decide whether you're going to go through this process. But I definitely want to take more of a look. There's a lot of love here. And, but I see you not so interested anymore. Okay, so what do we need to know from the fairy oracle? The heart of the fairy, okay. You want to return to a lover. You want to be single, the Prince of Light. You want to seek a more spiritual reunion or reunion with someone. You feel as though there's somebody from your past, somebody that you love. We have this burning lover's card, soulmate card. You feel with, like you want this connection. The shapeshifter energy says that you are whoever you need to be, wherever you are. You're able to project an image out there for the rest of the world. But you are truly the Lord of the forest. You're coming in with this energy of wanting to be the lover. You want to be someone's lover. Let's see how you feel about this partner. Other than why has the passion gone out of the relationship? Why is this tower card coming down? Yeah, you don't feel like you can trust them. At the end of the day, it looks as though they have an explosive temper. The tower card oftentimes in a mundane reading in love means that there's a fight or somebody has a temper or they blow up a lot. Yeah, you, you just, you know, you want to respect the fact that you're different from one another. Basically, it's just respect the other person. Let them be who they are. You're accepting it. 23, the mice card is pulled up here. Error in recognition is the first step to avoid it in the future. So what I'm seeing here, Leo, is that you're coming away from this relationship with a much clearer idea of who you are, what you want, what you need. You know, you've, you've shaped, you have shape-shifted and turned yourself into whoever you thought this person needed, and it really wasn't authentic and you really want to return to somebody with whom you've had a very grounded, beautiful relationship that you feel is enlightened. So let's see what Spirit is going to offer you for actual advice further at this time. Leo, let's see what we have here. Follow the voice of your soul. Well, if that is not a message, I don't know what is. Leo, sending you light and love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. It's been a joy. Take care. Bye-bye, Leo.